This is a primer on wiring for the limit switches or for home switches. This is a breakout board. You'll see the, the parallel cable is located on the breakout board and the breakout board wires to the individual drivers. The inputs are from pin 10 through pin 15 and for this example I'm going to be using pin number 13. I'm going to show you how to use the pin for connecting limit switches and homing the machine. On the pin number 13 I have an orange wire. It's a stranded cable and I have a blue one for the five volt and in general limit switches and home switches can be run in series and we're going to be using a circuit that is normally closed and when that normally closed circuit which is a loop if there is a break in the circuit then that means that the switch has been tripped on circuits that are normally closed it's easy to run in series normally open circuits it's better to run in parallel so they can be tripped simultaneously in this example I'm going to show you both ways looking at the top left of the Mach 3 screen we're going to go to config ports and pins and then we're interested in the input signal so we're going to click on the tab input signals and you'll notice that you have a table here with with signal on the left which is the x plus plus is the limit switch uh, for the x axis in the positive direction x minus minus is on the opposite direction at the other end of the table and then x home which is the home switch which when the switch is hit the x axis will turn to zero and the same thing with the y and the z and then you have other inputs that you can use for other peripherals or devices you'll have one for the e-stop so there's various options options you can use with this software and I'm going to enable that and then the Z home and then we're going to have the automated setup of inputs so I'm going to select this and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually get one of these things working so let's pretend the machine doesn't really know how we have it set up we can select um, any kind of switch here and you can select which input you'd like to have it set automatically let's go ahead and try the X home switch click on auto set I'm going to take my wires that we had number 13 is the orange and then on the 5 volt is the blue. When I connect them, you'll see a note in Mach 3 that has established that connection. So I'm going to connect those two. After I press auto set, I'm going to con connect both of those wires. Go to X home, auto set, and then connect two. And you'll see that it's signal set to port number one, pin 13, select next signal. So that's by touching the orange and blue together. That would be in a normally open circuit, and then I just close the circuit. So we have our two wires, orange and blue. The orange is set to pin number 13, and the blue is set to five volts. If I go to automated set setup of inputs, I'm going to pretend that this is a normally closed loop. So I'm gonna put them together, and then I'm gonna auto set. And once I remove them, Signal is set to port number one, pin 13, and I can go on to do my next signal. Now let's do this for a normally open circuit. Now it's open, I'm gonna use auto set, and by the way, it's on the X limit switch, not the home. And once I touch these two together, it will set. So in one case, you have a switch that is normally open, which we just showed, and then the other case, we have a switch that is normally closed. And then once you break the connection, the switch is triggered. You'll also see that there's an active low setting, and this will correspond to the normally open or normally closed state of the switch. So let's show this again. We're going to do our automated setup of inputs, and then I'm going to take the, let's just use the X limit switch. You, you notice that, that the signal is active low, so I'm going to do the auto set and have it normally open and touch them. Now it said signal set to port number one, pin 13. Let's click OK and you see that it didn't change. So now let's try it with normally closed. So I'm going to have them closed, automated setup of inputs, auto set, and then I'm going to break the circuit and it should have changed it to active low, and it did. So when you hook up a switch in the normally closed, which is in series um, in most cases, this will have to be selected as active low. Although if you do the automated setup, it, this will do it for you and you don't have to guess. With limit or home switches, you'll generally have three leads and then a switch with an arm. This one has a, a small um, wheel on it, so if something hits it, it can slide and it won't get hung up on the actual switch. And the three leads are, there's a common lead, which is your five volt or your ground. You'll have a a normally open lead and then a normally closed lead so then um, this will you'll want to if it's going to be in series you'll want to have a large loop of switches connected and I'm going to show that to you for demonstration purposes I have connected the limit switch or the home switch to common which is the 5 volt and that's the, the blue and the pin number 13 on the normally open lead so let's do our automated test automated setup and we're gonna do the X limit switch again well let's do the let's do the X home switch auto set and signal set to port number one pin number 13 I'm gonna go ahead and accept that apply or okay and I'm gonna go to the diagnostic screen and when I when I click on the, the switch you'll notice that limit switch and home and the two home switches 
they light up because all of those are set to 13 in the settings. With switches, um, you'll only be able to, to run these, um, the normally open circuit, um, in parallel. That means one switch per pin. Um, that's not to say, that's not true with um, doing the homing with using the end mill. Um, you can still use the normally open and then every time it hits uh, uh, or closes a circuit on, on each, uh, on sort of a piece of metal that is connected, then that would still work. But in switches, it's better to use normally closed and I'm going to show you that in um, using two switches. So I'm going to disconnect this one. I'm going to, I'm going to connect a smaller wire from the normally closed. Do it this way so there's no, doesn't hit the other lead. And then I'm going to take another switch and connect that one to the common and then loop it back through the normally closed connection. And now we have two wires that has a loop or two switches. Now we have two switches that are looped from the five volts all the way back to number 13. Again, it's from the common, five volts to the common, to the normally closed, back to the common, to the normally closed, and then back to 13. So let's see what we have when we do our automated setup. We're gonna go back to config, ports and pins, input signals, and let's do our, um, let's do the X home and the Y home. Let's pretend this is the X home and this is the Y home. So automated setup, click on that, and the down, the down um, pull down menu, click on X home, switch auto set and let's click on it and we were able to break the the circuit by clicking on the switch since it's normally closed and then go to Y home switch auto set and let's click on this one and now we have the Y home switch set press OK and you'll see that um, because it's a, a normally closed the active low was uh, enabled and the Y home active low was enabled although it is really handy to have switches to provide for the home position it's it doesn't give you an accurate uh, representation of where the actual bit or the end mill is located the best way to do that is to make your end mill the switch as you know the blue wire is connected to the 5 volts and this orange wire is connected to the pin number 13 I'm going to use this to demonstrate how the bit can be used as a switch. So when the machine is homing, you can have this number 13 connected to a three-sided plate. So when the end mill is trying to find its home position, it goes up against the X plate, trips it. It goes up against the Y plate, trips it. And then it goes up against the Z plate and then trips it. And it, you'll get a perfect representation of where the, where the home position is for the actual end mill. The first thing I'm doing is I'm doing an auto set to establish the pin number 13 for this end mill so I've gone to the setup screen and auto set or the automatic um, setup of switches went to auto set for the X home clicked on auto set and then you can hear that tone that means that I've created a circuit for the X home now I'm going to the Y home establish the Y home and now I'm going to establish the Z home Go down to the Z home switch, click on auto set, and then you've established the Z home for pin number 13. For this demonstration, I'm going to hook up the homing for the X, Y, and Z, but using separate pins. The one on the face of the MDF is the Z axis plate, and that's going to be hooked up to a port pin. I don't know yet what it is, but I'm going to let the software figure that out. And then the Y axis, which is right here, is hooked up to another port pin. And the X axis, which is in the back, is hooked up to another port pin. And then the end mill is connected to the 5 volt. Here's what it looks like on the breakout board. You'll see that number 10 is connected, number 11 is connected, and number 13 is connected. Blue one is to 5 volts. Let's find out which ones they are connected. So from this screen, which is the ports and pins, and the input signals is open, you'll notice that I have enabled the home switches, X home, Y home, and Z home. And right now they're configured for number 13, but this is not what I want. So we're gonna go ahead and do an automatic setup of input. And I'm going to select the X home switch, auto set. I will just take this and connect it. And you'll see that it's connected to signal set to port one, pin 10, select next signal. Let's go ahead and do the Y. Auto set. We'll go to the Y, connect it, and this is set at port number one, pin 11. And then we're going to go to the Z, and I'm thinking it's going to be the number 13. All right, it's set to number 13. Now we're going to go to the, I did it correctly, the home is 10, X home is 10, Y home is 11, and Z home is 13. So let's okay that.